Okay, so um, we're doing the Brassy Jogger Sew Along. Uh, welcome to day one. And I just wanted to do a quick video. There's a question about how to widen um, the legs on the Brassy Joggers as shorts. So on mine, um, I have the back here and the front over here. I have some extra markings on here. You can just ignore those. Um, but I have the back and the front there. And I'm just going to show you kind of what I did to widen the inner leg. This isn't required. It kind of depends on how you want your brassy joggers to fit around your legs. If you want them to be, you know, snugger around your inner thigh, um, you can just leave them as is and cut it on the shorts line um, in the pattern. There is a shorts cut line. Um, I've actually cut mine about one and a half inches shorter than the shorts cut line because that's just how I like them to fit. So if you want me to measure my inseam here just so you can see um, I've got you know about five inches from the crotch to um, kind of the the bottom of my leg so that's that's kind of how how short I like them but you can cut them you know to your preference as far as widening the legs we only do it to the inner leg unless you just want the whole thing to be bigger you're only going to work on the inner leg so what I do is I just, instead of cutting at the angle, which would be per the pattern, um, I kind of just cut straight down. So, and I, then I cut, it's about three quarters of an inch or so, um, maybe a little bit more than that, that I just kind of make a little bit straighter than the pattern is indicated. We have a little photo bomber here. Oh, Hi, Sophia. <laughs> Hi. Oops. Okay. So I kind of just cut it out a little bit. Um, Julie's asking, did I size up for my shorts? For my stretch woven pair, I did size up. Um, so I usually make um, the smallest size and I did size up one for the stretch woven pair. Um, thank you, Noah. Uh, my son's bringing me a sandwich. He's made me a triple decker. Whoa. That's, a, that's, that's for my lunch, huh? Thank you. No, what, was my, what did I tell you? Yeah, just a minute, buddy. Let me finish my video, okay? I'll be right there. Um, <laughs> life with kids home for the summer. So anyway, so I sized up for my stretch woven pair. Um, I did not size up for my other pairs that I'm making out of knit. Um, so I hope that, that kind of makes sense. If you're curious, um, just you know, size range wise, my waist is 24 and a half and my hips are 34 and a half. So that's kind of, I usually would make an, an extra small um, or an extra extra small. I made an extra small for the um, for the stretch woven pair. So um, you know, and that's just personal preference too about how tight you want it to fit. And then I did the same thing. Here's the front, and I did the same thing on the inner seam. You don't want to do it to the outer seam, and this can get a little confusing because both have those swoop edges. But it's labeled in the pattern center front, and I did the same thing, just cutting it in a little bit straighter of a line rather than the angle in. Um, and about, you know, the same thing, about three quarters of an inch. Okay, so, you know, again, if you wanted to make the whole thing overall wider, you know, you could either just simply size up, you could cut the legs a little bit farther over, you could take a smaller seam allowance. You just want to take into account if you're going to make some of those adjustments that that's going to affect the width of your waistband as well. Um, so as far as adjusting it for a booty, um, you know, if you have a really um, round bottom, mine tends to be kind of flat, unfortunately. But if you have a really bit, really kind of round um, bottom, you could, um, you know, make your um, back, um, center back seams, these are the side seams, you could make the center back seams, you could do some adjustments to that. I'm going to have to look that up, honestly, because I don't want to give you wrong information, but um, there's definitely an adjustment that you could do for that, and I'll see if I can find the kit tutorial or a link online and post that for you. Um, so, okay, so just a really quick video to get us started. Um, really looking forward to sewing along with you guys, and there'll be some hacks posted along the way. If you haven't already checked out the blog post on supplies and how a sew along works, I linked, you know, where I get my twill tape from and, um, you know, my... Um, my grommets, I love my grommet press over here. I live with my grommet press, it also does snap. So I, lo I love those things too. Um, so as far as page numbers to avoid printing when making shorts, um, Val's posting that. Thank you so much Val, that's really helpful. Um, so that's great. So 
Um, if you guys have any questions, please ask. Um, I'll be at work for part of the day today, but I will be checking back frequently and um, you know, definitely will answer questions I see them. All right, have a good day. Oh, there's another kid. Say hi, Ollie. Okay, bye guys.